I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on rates of change. Calculate the instantaneous rate of change at x equals to 0 0.5 and x equals to 3 on the graph of the given function. Solve using difference quotient method. We have done this question graphically in one of the videos and here we will solve it algebraically. Now to use difference quotient method we need to first find equation of the function itself. So from this graph of parabola, what we note is that the vertex is at 2 minus 3 plus we can take another point and this point at x equals to 3 is a good point to consider. So what we will consider now here is that the vertex is at 2 minus 3 and we have a point P for x value of 3 the value is minus 2, right? So that will give us the equation of the parabola. Let's begin by the vertex form, which is uh, f of x equals to a times x minus the vertex point x value is 2, whole square, and the y value is minus 3. To get a, we'll use this point, 3 for x minus 2 for f of x. So minus 2 equals to a times 3 minus 2 whole square minus 3. 3 minus 2 is 1, so we get bringing 3 to the right side we get 3 minus 2 equals to a right since this is 1 for us so we know a equals to 3 minus 2 so a equals to 1 so we get the equation of the graph as f of x equals to x minus 2 whole square minus 3 now this is the equation in vertex form we can also write this equation in standard form right so let's do that part also. So we'll write this equation in standard form. So we can write f of x as equals to x minus 2 whole square. Let's expand it. x square minus 4x plus 2 squared is 4 minus 3. And that gives us x square minus 4x and 4 minus 3 is plus 1. So that is the quadratic function for us. Now, since we have the equation of the function, we can easily use difference quotient method and find the equation of instantaneous rate of change at the given points. Now, one of the methods is to find it using approximate method. That is kind of, uh, we can consider the point x equals to 0 0.1, the other point very close to 0 0.5, which is 0 0.501, and then find the instantaneous rate of change. The other method is to find a general formula and then plug in the points. So let me teach you a general formula for difference question at this stage. So instantaneous rate of change can be written as f of a plus h minus f of a over h where h is very very small as compared to 1. Now a of h is replacing x by a plus h right so then you get f of a plus h so let's write down x will replace by a plus h so we get a plus h whole square minus 4 times a plus h plus 1 so that is f of a plus h minus f of a means the function with a value x replaced by a which is this right divided by h now we can simplify this, that is, expand these things. We have a square plus 2ah plus h square. That is expansion of a plus h whole square. Then minus 4a minus 4h, then plus 1, minus these three terms, a square minus 4x plus 1, correct? Divided by h. Now here you can see that all the three terms in these will get cancelled. a square minus a square 0 minus 4x will have minus 4x somewhere I should say a right minus because this should be a so minus 4a minus 4a 0 and plus 1 plus 1 when you take away you get 0. So solving we get instantaneous rate of change as 2ah plus h square uh, minus 4h correct divided by h. Now in this particular case h square is very small correct? 
Or what we can do is we can still take h common and get 2a plus h minus 4 in the bracket divided by h. Now h and h cancels. So we get instantaneous rate of change as 2a plus h minus 4. Now if h is very small, we can write it approximately equals to 2a minus 4. I hope you appreciate it. Now here h is 0 0.001, so we are neglecting that as compared to 4, right? So that gives us instantaneous rate of change at any point a, correct? Now we need to find at point 5 and at x equals to 3. So which we can do by substituting the value of a as given to us. So we say instantaneous rate of change at x equals to 0 0.5 will be replace a by 0 0.5 will be 2 times 0 0.5 minus 4 that is 1 minus 4 which is minus 3 correct and the other value will substitute a as 3 right so we have instantaneous rate of change at x equals to 3 will be equals to 2 times 3 minus 4 which is 6 minus 4 which is 2 so that is how we can get our answer right and so let me write down the answer here that is instantaneous rate of change at x equals to 0 0.5 is minus 3 and at x equals to 3 is Perfect. So that is how you can solve this question using difference quotient, right? You could also uh, solve it using the standard formula which you have, which is you could do them in separately, right? You could use a point very, very close. That means f of, you could write f of 3.01 minus f of 3 over 0 0.01. This will give you at 3 using the following method and for this you could use f of 0 0.501 minus f of 0 0.5 divided by 0. Point, so 0, 0, 001 because I took one more extra zero. You could use this direct formula also on the equation get the answer but this is a recommended method and it gives you uh, a general formula first which we notice is 2a minus 4 for this particular equation it helps i hope you understand and appreciate the solution you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best